Hi, in today's video I'm going to give you an overview of my YouTube channel. Now, if this is the first video of mine that you've found, you probably don't know anything about me. So basically, if you go to www.youtube.com and then in the search box type Apple Lover 53, you will find my channel. If you click on here next to the small thimble icon that will take you to my YouTube channel. If you're already an existing subscriber you're probably maybe used to seeing this view anyway but basically today I just want to give you an overview because I've had a few people contact me recently where they found a video and then asked me how to do something else and I know that I've actually already covered it in a video so I'm assuming that they don't know where to look or how to find it. So this is my channel. First of all, you've got a direct link to my blog. So if you click that, that will take you over to my blog where you can click the follow button and you'll be notified by email of any posts that I upload to my blog. There's also a direct link to all my Pinterest boards where on there you'll find categories for my YouTube videos, scan and cut projects, things that I just generally like, um, recipes, all sorts of things. So that's all on there. And then this basically is my channel. Now, it always normally defaults to the home page, and I would say whether you're viewing this on a desktop computer or on a mobile device, you should always see these options here. So home videos and playlists. But basically what I want to talk about today is the playlist. If you click on videos, that will just bring you a list of all my videos that are on my channel. You can look at them in various ways, either in a list format like this, might be clearer for you to see, or a grid format. It doesn't matter which. But if you go to playlists, all these videos are then categorised into playlists for you to make things easier. So you click on playlists, you'll see here we've got sewing projects that I do using my Janome Memorycraft 9900, Inkscape projects, miscellaneous and quick tips, some old stamping up videos, Scan and Cut Canvas built-in projects, so anything I've made or want to show you using the built-in projects that are in Scan and Cut Canvas. Scan and Cut Machine Tutorials, Scan and Cut for Beginners, Scan and Cut Canvas Tutorials. So basically, if you want to know how to do something just on the machine, not using Canvas, which is the online software that Brother give us, just specifically you want to do something on the machine only, just look in the Scan and Cut Machine Tutorials. If it's something fairly basic, it may also be in the beginner's playlist. So, you know, sometimes these two can cross over. But all you would do is click on the words and then it will bring you up a list of all the videos that I've put in that Scan and Cut Machine playlist. Okay, so if you go back to the playlist, and if it's a beginner, if you're an absolute beginner, again, click on the words. And these are videos that I've put in here, some of which will be in the machine playlist as well. But these are the things that I think you may want to know or are easy projects to do for an absolute beginner to the scan and cut machine. If it's something you want to know how to do in the online software canvas, then again, there's another playlist. Click on the words and in here you'll find all the videos that I've done relating to Scan and Cut Canvas. As you know, the Scan and Cut machine is a great machine for cutting fabric. So in addition to finding tutorials in the machine or canvas playlist, I also have a Janome Memorycraft 9900 and I use a Mac computer. So the software that I use in conjunction with my Mac and my sewing machine is Embrilliance Essentials. Again, I've got a playlist. If you click on that in here, you'll find some 
simple projects relating to and brilliant essentials but you'll also find something that relates to scan and cut canvas as well so there's lots of playlists here for you to look at to make things easier for you to find sometimes i will reply to you and i will say to you look in a specific playlist this is what i'm talking about obviously once you select a video and you choose to watch it you just click it and the video will start i'll just pause this one for a minute but basically once you've watched the video if you've liked it please hit the thumbs up to give it a like and if you don't already subscribe to my channel there's usually um, a subscribe button somewhere at the top of the page when you're viewing the video that allows you to then subscribe to my channel as well. That way you'll be notified when I upload videos. In addition, you can also create your own saved list. If you go down to the video and find the plus button and click on that, you can then choose to add it to a watch later list which then when you log into your YouTube channel, you can just go straight to your watch later and that will bring up all the videos that you've saved in there so it makes them easier to find. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to the channel and that way you will be notified of videos that I post and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.